Can a part-time football club really beat a full-time side? The FA Cup has produced some of the biggest upsets in world football. And today, we could add another giant killing to that list. It's the second qualifying round of the FA Cup and we found the fixture that would cause the biggest upset of the competition so far. We'll be comparing to see how big the gap really is on and off the pitch. And we speak to a former Premier League footballer who knows all about being an underdog. Today's hosts are Stenning Town, who plays Step 5 football at the Shooting Field Stadium, which is an artificial surface with one stand. Whereas the visitors, Maidstone United, played in the National League last year, but are now Step 2 following relegation. Their Gallagher Stadium has a capacity of 4,200 and costs 2.8 million to build. But what it doesn't have is a shed in someone's garden that overlooks the pitch. And inside this building are the changing rooms. It's a very spacious layout, lovely detail with the red and white paint throughout, TV hanging on the wall for all the pre-match analysis, plenty of sweets and recovery drinks for the players as well, plus motivational pictures above each seat. And apparently, the Stig's in goal today. But the most important feature is the fan, as it's double hot. The away fans have travelled in numbers, but how confident are they of avoiding a huge upset? We're very confident on a good run at the moment. Hopefully we'll continue it. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, pretty confident as well. From their point of view, it'll be, a, it'll be a great win for them. From our point of view, I think we should win, but it depends what team we put out. Did you guys know that this could be the biggest upset in the FA Cup so far this season? Yes. How confident are you that Mainstone are going to win? Not. Really? Yeah. We should, but I'm not confident we could win. Why is that? Because Stenning are a good team. How confident are you that Maidstone are going to get through? Hopefully as confident as the team is going to perform. Looking at Stain in town, they look like quite a lot of youngsters. I know they've been scoring a lot of goals lately as well. You never know with the FA Cup, do you? Well, it should go Mason's way, on paper. But last year proving Mason, it doesn't work that way. I'd actually take a replay, to be fair. Oh, really? I'd be happy to take them. As long as we won the replay, they, they can make a bit of money. We were three levels below a few seasons back when we beat Seavages in the FA Cup. We were Ryman and they were League Two and we knocked them out. So it, it can happen if you're not on your game. And if you're wondering what a giant killing means, the Cambridge Dictionary describes it as a sports player or team that defeat a much stronger opponent. And here are a couple of examples. In the 2014-15 season, Chelsea were on the wrong end of a 4-2 defeat against League One Bradford City. Luton became the first non-league side to knock a top flight opponent out of the FA Cup since 1989 when they beat Norwich 1-0 in the 2012-13 season. And the final of that year saw Manchester City lose to Wigan Athletic 1-0 after Ben Watson scored the winner. For today's game, we've been given another VIP pass. You're joking. Not another one? So we checked out the Step 5 FA Cup hospitality in the clubhouse, where all the club's trophies are proudly on display, plus a Hall of Fame wall, which unfortunately had a huge leak and some of the pictures were destroyed. As for the spread, the prawn sandwiches were in full swing. And if you fancy a Prosecco, go big or go home. This is going to be the club's toughest game in their history because one, it's the highest ranked team they've ever come across, and two, Maidstone are managed by the strongest manager in in world football. George, today's opponents are three leagues below you. As a full-time team, how did you prepare? Once the draw was done, we sent scouts out, watched their strengths, watched their weaknesses, not just once, but twice. So we knew everything about, about standing. We knew your person, the, the personnel that were going to be available. We knew they've not lost in, I think, 11 games. It was important for us to, to prepare, which we are. And hopefully, um, we'll see what the result is going to be at the, at the end of the, the 100 minutes. You've played at the highest level in the game. How much did you enjoy playing in the FA Cup? In the FA Cup, it was, it was brilliant. Most of the teams I played for, we was always the underdog. So I knew how to upset bigger teams, bigger clubs. Um, and I know, you know, when you pick up that paper in the morning, <laughs> if a club like Standing Town beats us, Maystone today, um, then everyone is going to be happy because that's what dreams are made of. In your career, have you been the underdog and beaten them? It was, it was Sheffield away with Colchester and we won the game away from, from home. Obviously, that, that gave us a tie against our next opposition was Chelsea away. Um, it's what dreams are made of. Um, and yeah, it was incredible. You have the giant killing. It's, it's important that, you know, you look back and you smile. But yeah, it's always 
the FA Cup has got that magic. As the players soaked up the atmosphere, we had a little stroll around the ground and came across something a Step 2 club definitely wouldn't have. The Dairy Diva, serving up the ice creams. Maidstone were the first to come out for their warm-up, followed by the Gaffer, who definitely can still play, by the way. He's an absolute unit. Before we start comparing both warm-ups, we had a question for the Stenning players and staff. Would you rather <laughs> Stenning get promoted this season or reach the first round of the FA Cup proper live on telly? Oh, <laughs> don't do this to me. First round of the FA Cup. <laughs> first round of the FA Cup. First round proper. Promotion. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Promotion. Both. Only pick one. Now we're getting both. <laughs> both. Ooh. Heads up, heads up. Uh, FA Cup. We get promoted anyway. For the long term future of the club, we're looking to obviously get promoted, but it's the magic of the FA Cup a little bit. Isn't it? <laughs> Promotion. Yeah. I'll follow you on YouTube actually. Oh, cool. Another question for you. What's the difference between a step two warm up and a step five? Let's take a look. Maidstone kicked off their warm up with some resistant band exercises, while Stenin opted for some mobility work. The Stones followed that up with some light jogging, whilst their opponents went for a skip. The first ball exercise for Maidstone was a passing drill, about 20 yards apart. Stenin went for a short, sharp drill with plenty of touches, which, to be honest, really confused me. At this point, we thought we'd do some scouting for the home side. What player should we look out for on the Maidstone team? Obviously, a Manchi. Stenin probably haven't come up against someone of his size. Lamar Reynolds in the middle, uh, Ezan Olim. Sounds like you've got quite a few good players. <laughs> well, they're all good players, it's just getting them to play together. What players should we look out for? Mainly um, Sol, I think, that's one. He's, he's, he's having a good run at the moment. Right? A Manchi who's, looks quite good at the moment. Back on the pitch, we moved into some keep ball, which I was really impressed with. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. I was equally impressed with the ball work from the Step 5 team as well. This is what we came for, goals. Maidstone worked on some passing routines and finishing while Stenning was shooting from outside the box. The warm-ups were over. The full-time footballers from Maidstone sprinted off the pitch and were followed by their gaffer, George Elakobi. In the other dugout is Kev, who understands how big an upset this could be. It would be a massive, massive upset. Obviously, Maidstone are a full-time team. We're part-time. There's a lot of uh, divisions between us, but you never know. That's the beauty of the FA Cup. How do you prepare for a game like this? Thankfully, we've uh, we've had a lot of games recently. We've been, been doing pretty well, so we've been playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So we didn't actually start thinking about it properly until Tuesday afternoon. How do you win this game? By scoring more goals than them which isn't going to be easy, but we, we give it a go. We're going to play our normal way. We, we try and get the ball down. We try and attack teams. We're not going to change that today. We'll give it a go and we'll see where that takes us. Another thing we don't have at step five is a gantry. No problem, the clubhouse roof will do. You know we love to get the badge in. This is Stenning Towns. Now, you're probably wondering what that logo is. If I told you it was a wheelbarrow, would you believe me? Well, it is. The ancient Saint Cuthman used to push his mum around in a wheelbarrow. Seriously, Google it. We're all set for this Step 5 v Step 2 clash. So what are the predictions of our favourite Maidstone fans? I'd like to say we'd win 3-1. It's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? FA Cup, anything can happen. I'd go 2-1 to us, to be honest. 2-0 Maidstone, I don't know. 2-0 Maidstone. 3-0 Maidstone. 3-0 Maidstone. 2-1 Maidstone. I'm going to go 3-0 Maidstone. 2-0. I'm going to go for a 1-0. I'll go 2 all in. I'm actually going to go for, for a draw ourselves, actually, 1-1. One, one. Three draws. <laughs> Maidstone, step two, standing step five. <laughs> 1,135 supporters have come to watch this historic game, including another cameraman on the roof. Here come the teams for this FA Cup encounter. Stedding Town of Step 5 taking on Maidstone United of Step 2. How crisp does the red and white kit of Stedding look, by the way? Let's get the final word from El Capitan. Same rules apart as normal. No one works f hard than us, yeah? When we're out there. Yeah. But after a f***ing night, so I carry each other, pick each other up when we have to. And I know what 11 I'd rather be in, yeah? So yeah. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Now, the Maidstone fans forgot to mention this guy, Lucas Kovalan, who famously scored in the National League playoff final in 2021 for Torquay. Unfortunately, they did lose, but let's keep an eye out for him at corners. Good to see the fans in the shed end have made it in okay. The visitors had a couple of early chances before this header was gathered by the GK. The deadlock was broken straight after that. A potential foul, but Sol makes no mistake and buries the ball. Sol nearly got his brace with a glancing header but then moments later, he did grab his second 
getting on the end of this delightful cross. However, the comeback was on. Sterling got on the end of a long ball and finished it like a prime Thierry Henry. Could there be a huge upset? Second half coming up real soon. But first, time for a food review, courtesy of Mr. Scott Lavelle. Right, so there could be an upset on the pitch, but hopefully there won't be an upset with the food. I think this is a first on the channel. Burger, but chicken. We've got the chicken goujon burger here. Brioche bun, can't be beaten. Let's see how it tastes. Certainly not a disappointment. Both sets of subs were warming up. Maidstone opted for a quick blast from the strength and conditioning coach, whilst the Stenin lads were enjoying a game of two touch. Oh, that's too free. And smashing balls at the goal. Love it. The second half kicked off, and within minutes, Maidstone grabbed a third. The home side came close with a header, but the National League South side tucked away a fourth and progressed to the next round. So, can a Step 5 side beat a Step 2 team? Not on this occasion, but perhaps there will be a huge upset in the next round. This is the magic of the FA Cup after all.